Good morning, everybody. It's your pre-market update for July 15th. We're going to just take a look at some things that are active this morning. Uh, there were some earnings that came out this morning from some of the banks. Uh, the market was slightly down before the bank earnings came out. And uh, once Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan reported earnings, uh, we are we are now back in positive territory. Goldman Sachs closed at 167 yesterday, uh, and so far is up to about 170, up three points. Goldman smoked their EPS estimate. Uh, expectations were for three dollars and five cents on revenue of 7.97 billion, uh, and they came in at about 370 a share. Um, yeah, so again, quite a beat uh, for Goldman Sachs. The J.P. Morgan, let's take a look at this one in the pre-market. So you notice she closed at around 56.20. Uh, uh, this was uh, the close of yesterday, and now she's already gapping up to about 58. If you take a look at a longer picture on the J.P. Morgan, you'll see that 58 is an area that she couldn't really get above. If you also take a look at a longer picture on the Goldman Sachs, you'll notice the same thing. She couldn't really get above the 170 area, and they're basically just coasting around that area. Now, with the positive bank earnings, uh, all every single one of the banks are looking pretty pretty tasty. If you look at the, uh, the Bank of America, uh, if you take a look at the pre-market action, she's already up to 1580. She's, she hasn't been able to get over that 16 area. Um, you know, we can take a look at the Wells Fargo. She's up a little bit. She reported earnings that wasn't that great, but now it might be time for the laggards of the sector uh, to really start performing, aka the Citigroup, the Bank of America, the Goldman Sachs, uh, and the JP Morgan. Keep an eye on Yahoo and Intel. These two are going to be reporting earnings after the close, so make sure you keep an eye on these to see how they perform after the close. Might give you a little guide on how tomorrow's action will be. Uh, as for economic data, watch out for Janet Yellen, which is going to speak on monetary policy at 10 a.m. Obviously, there's going to be a stress for her to indicate that maybe the Fed won't be as dovish going forward or as sort of uh, uh, accommodative. Uh, as far as monetary policy going forward. Uh, we also have retail sales coming out at 8.30, uh, as well as some Empire Manufacturing data coming out at 8.30. So make sure you watch for a reaction on those uh, from the SPY.